And so the mid bomb banner has officially been announced. We're about to check it out right now. For those that got the prediction right in yesterday's video, they're on your screen. Did anyone get it? I don't know. We're about to find out what it is. As long as it's not more Arankas, I think we're I think we're kind of chilling, right? Who, who knows though? Let's see what it's gonna be. Lost Asian summon. So we are getting, I think a few people actually did suggest that. We're getting more TLA characters. Not sure I feel about that because we did get them remade recently. I don't know what to expect here, generally. There's obviously a few possibilities. It's Lost Asian. A new Ichigo? A, a, new, a new Fullbring Ichigo would be kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. Although this might be a line of summons that we're going to get where we're getting the Fullbringers again once more remade. But this time with their transformations. The last Fullbringers that we did get were base forms. So maybe this will be cool. Let's check it out though. Who's it going to be? Let's see it. Okay, we got Kugo, Tsukushima, and also Yukio. They actually are in their base forms. Okay, I don't know why they're doing that again. <laughs> so, I'm tired of the base forms, bro. But it's not an Aranka. It's not an Aranka. We'll take it. It's, it's, it's a W. It's a W. Yeah, Tsukushima, Kugo, and also Yukio for our mid-month banner. Are they going to be good? Let's find out. All right, so in this case, looking at the attributes, we have a power, heart, and also technique character. So there's some potential here, right? So potentially, these are going to be Link Sword characters. One could end up being a Link Sword Link. We have seen that. That's what mid-month likes to be nowadays just to get some extra value from these characters that usually aren't like super amazing in Tsukushima's case he has a potential chance to be a link sort link which would actually wouldn't mind that if it's another premium character Kugo I don't think that would be the case I think it's going to be something else Kugo's heart not sure what he could be and then Yukio is a tech character again not sure what he could be when it comes to link sort links those attributes are covered Tsukushima has the potential here but I will say the artwork looks kind of cool I'm liking the the design for Kugo right now would have preferred their transformations though I'm not gonna lie I don't mind Kugo because he's actually in his like full bring outfit, but but I like the whitehead Kugo more. Although to be fair, now that I've realized it, it's actually been longer since we've had a normal Kugo. Our most recent Kugo that we did get maybe in 2021 was the Kugo that stole Ichigo's full bring. So yeah, I quite frankly don't mind this. Either way, this banner will be out when we get our anniversary announcement, so that's something to keep in mind. In this case, though, we have Tsukushima, a merely a normal attack character. All attacks, except his SA2, can inflict drain. That's really good. The last Tsukushima we had also can inflict drain, so that's kind of cool. His SA2 is a debuff, and that's why the SA2 doesn't inflict drain. And then he has a new skill, power, attribute character, normal attack, plus 20%. This is kind of cool. I'm not sure. If he's the first character to have this buff, again, we have seen that, you know, SP characters get a team buff that buffs your team's strong attack damage if you are the same attribute as that character. I don't think we've actually seen that when it comes to no attack damage characters. So, more NAD support is always nice. I could see myself using this uh, ability for the most part. Squad Zero Kill on, not really the most ideal one, but I guess more NAD support, normal attack damage support for this particular week isn't so bad. And he does have a debuff SA2, so that could actually be quite useful in Guild Quest, but but if he's just being relegated to a Gilchrist character, not much use is going to be there. He is a 30% normal attack damage soul trait. If we ever get more power Nad characters in the future, that can be really good. For those that use Soifun, the Safi version, that's also going to be a really good link for her. With that said, though, just a very standard Gilchrist character. And... Just a small little tangent aside, right? This is my problem that I had with the end of month banner with Noritora, for example. Because when it comes to Nad characters, they can easily get skills like this at a mid month. And this character, I would say, is actually better than Noritora. Noritora is an end of month character. He, he has guard break. He can be used outside of Gyo Quest. He has that utility effect with the SA2. And then damage output, almost similar to, to Noritora's. And I believe in his case, he's actually immune to poison. So he's actually immune to the stars when he wants to be immune to that being poison in his particular guild quest. So that kind of just goes to show how bad Noritora was for an end of month character. But Tsukushima, nothing super impressive. Definitely going to be a good link. Just overall, another guild quest support for this particular guild quest, which I guess doesn't really need it because Yamamoto exists and stuff like that. But I mean, it's not it's not too bad. Does he get any arena skills? He unfortunately does not. But Tsukushima overall is just going to be a guild quest character for the squad zero guild quest. But I guess if they ever do plan to split up this particular girl quest, the Quincy Squad Zero Human Sturm Ritter, him having Squad Zero Killer will be a bit more ideal as there won't be that many options and he would be a pretty good Nad character for that week. Next up though, we have Kugo. A lot of things here. Okay. Me, strong attack character. All attacks can inflict weakening. New soul trait. That's good. Damage to weakened enemies plus 35%. This is really good. So, so far, the two characters I've gotten that, it was damage to drain and also damage to lacerated enemies. Not really that useful, but damage to weaken. Now, that right there is a link. And in the heart attribute, you can put that on so many characters. Most importantly, 6th Anniversary Eisen, for example. That is a really good link. And that's going to go down for himself, too. What killer, though? Quincy. Last one was Quincy Killer. 
I cannot mind it. It's 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 okay. But alongside that damage to weakened enemies plus 35%, he also does do 40% more damage to enemies afflicted by an ailment, and that is actually a team party buff for any heart humans. But that's not all because he does have another team party buff, this time buffing a heart attribute human strong attack damage by 20%. That's also pretty good. What other skills does he have though? Innovator every five seconds. He has the havoc. He has the havoc. Wow. Wow. The only thing this character is missing, truthfully is an increased chance to inflict status elements. But you know what? For a mid-month character, Kugo might surprise us. If he has a good strong attack here, we're in for a treat for a mid-month character, generally. The damage output's gonna be really high here. I mean, Frenzy plus one with a 40% Berserker, basically 60%, right? Is on the lower end, but he has Innovator. So every five seconds, he has a chance to inflict weakening on any enemy. He has that read all affiliation dodges. He has the guard break. And then when you do inflict weakening, you are doing significantly more damage. Wow. You're basically doing 125% more damage damage once you inflict the status on it. That's kind of crazy, I'm not going to lie. And he has the extra bit of range since he was given Havoc plus 20%, so at this point, all he really needs is a good strong attack here, and for a mid-month standard, this is actually going to be pretty good. And his killer, while not super ideal, only being Quincy, is still usable. There are going to be times where there are Quincy enemies, let's say in the new upcoming Limit Breaker quest, there might be a time where you have to bring a heart character that has Quincy killer. He'll be good there. I mean, technically, you actually could bring him because the upcoming one has melee damage times two and Quincy killer times five so technically if you don't have yamamoto you could bring kugo and you're gonna get a pretty big damage output i mean if one character to get this treatment i'm kind of glad it was kugo next up though let's look at yukio now from the looks of these another net character so two net characters in this banner range normal attack character with a boost sa2 if this character is better than noritoro that is going to be absolutely hilarious hopefully he's a 30 percent normal attack damage link only 20%, that's fine. But he himself does have a Sparta killer, so more Sparta support wouldn't be nice, and that's nearly it. That said, though, he has guard break. He's better, he's, he's better. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro is, whoa! Whoa, bro is better than Noitura. See what I mean, bro. This is outrageous. How are we getting two mid-month night characters that are better than Noritoro and end a month character? Oh my god. Yukio though, absolutely insane. We were begging for years to get a, an Asparta booster. And we finally got it. And we got it in the course of a month. We got Dordoni last month. He is also a melee character, but again, you can use them in both weeks for the most part. But we have another one already, and in this case, he's a Nat character. So there's definitely two ways you can go by when it comes to boosters and guild quests. You can use an SP character like the most recent Dordoni to get a really fast guild quest clear time if you have a good enough team that's like max transcended. If you don't, and you're relying on that normal attack damage support from the sides, this Yukio is great. An amazing character. The banner itself, though, uh, we'll look in a minute. It's four bringers that can make sense. That's cool. But damn, look at this. So 20% Berserker. He unfortunately doesn't affect any status elements, but he is a melee Nat character, right? He has the guard break, so you can use him outside of guild quests. Fly plus one with the 40% bruise arm. He does the more range damage, more killer affecting guild quests. He has the built-in recharge, so that SA2 will come back a tad bit faster. If it's a vortex around him, that's going to be really good. But most importantly, he has the boost SA2 with the booster skill. That's a 43% attack focus and defense increase. This character is great. This character is great. Generally, for a mid-month banner, I'm actually fairly impressed. I mean, killers are all over the place. That's usually what mid-month are for the most part. But what we have here is a good normal attack damage character for this particular guild quest. Probably the least impressive here, in my opinion. We then have Kugo. Definitely can see this link being really good. A lot of characters have weakening. And even then, when it comes to guild quest nuki, for example, most of the time, your main guild quest nuka is going to inflict weakening. So even if you put this on a character that doesn't usually have weakening on their kit, it's still going to be a good soul trait. This goes for himself, but for Kugo fans, he, for a mid-month character, is actually pretty good since the damage output is going to be great. He has the extra chance to inflict weakening, and he also does have Havoc. As long as he has good skills, this is great. And then we have another character, a Nat character, can be used outside of guild quests, has a really good skill set here, and going to be really good for his niche in the media spot of guild quest. But even then, because of the way the Asparta guild quest does work, you could take him into the range of Sparta guild quest, and he's many there to do that extra bit of damage, not too much damage, but still damage nonetheless and also buff your team by 43 percent this banner not bad not bad not anything super crazy i still think it's a very easy skip uh but hey these characters are someone I want to pick up in the future. And I guess that says something because none of these characters are farmers, but I still want to pick them up. So I think Killer did a decent job here. That said, though, looking at the actual banner itself, it's only premium characters. There's some good characters here, Kaga, Rosa, Siphon, and also Keys Game. And I guess it makes sense why they threw the four bringers in there, but uh, banner is very easy to skip all. I'll probably do two steps just because I'm missing five characters here. What am I just doing the summons? 
And for those that are wondering, these characters are going to be bonus in the current epic raid. So that's kind of cool. If you do pull them, you can use them in there. All right, with that said, this is going to look very weird, but shout out to Soldex. Currently, Reddit is down there protesting against Reddit's API change. So usually this will be the part where we check out the character's strong attacks in the information that Soldex has provided us. He's actually filled it out into a little PDF, so shout out to him for this information. But let's quickly check out the strong attacks they do have. So first up, we have, this is Tsukushima. Two of the three characters here are normal attack damage based, so we don't really care that much about their normal attacks. But let's just look at their strong attacks, right? So SA1 for Tsukushima is actually going to be a beam forward, not too bad. SA2 is going to be a vortex around him. Again, for an ad character, that's usually what you do want to have. So, Tsukushima is looking like to have a good kit for the most part. SA3 is just going to be a full screen attack. Kugo is up next. Remember, he is the SB character, so we kind of care about his strong attacks here. His SA1 is going to be a distant area in front of him. The vortex type of attack that the most recent Nelio has under SA2. For an SA1, that's pretty good. Remember, does have Havoc, so that's actually not too bad. SA2 is going to be a 960 area in front of him. Once more, a pretty good strong attack too. And then his SA3 is going to be a full screen around him. So, Kuko has a good kit. I mean, it's not bad whatsoever. Next up, though, we have Yukio. Now, I didn't realize this. I don't know how I missed this. He's actually a ranged character. So, in a way, that's even better because Dodoni kind of has you covered for the Amelia Spider Girl quest. And now, you actually have Yukio for the ranger Spider Girl quest. So, really good, actually, there. That he ended up being ranged. That makes him better, in my opinion. And I think at this point, we have a booster in every single guild quest, which is actually really good. We're kind of set now. A spider was lacking when it came to boosters. Now they have two of them, and they got that in the span of a month. That's really actually good. So his nat string is just a normal nat string. SA1 is going to be a pushback attack. It's pretty much the worst, one of the worst strong attack ones in the game that Stark brought back a, a few months ago. I mean, in his case, it really doesn't matter. He's a nat character, so it's fine. But he will be pushing back the enemies. That might be a tad bit annoying, but I don't think it's a deal breaker. SA2 is going to be a distant area in front of him. And then his SA3 is going to be a full screen. So with that said, that was our first impressions of the three new characters. We are going to be reacting to the gameplay later today, so make sure you are subscribed for that. Overall, I'm fairly impressed when it comes to mid-month banners. This standard is definitely lowered, but I'm fairly impressed here. We have Yukio, a great guild quest booster for the Ranger Spider guild quest. Tsukushima, an extra nad support for the Squad Zero guild quest. If that ever gets split up, his value gets increased. But as of right now, I feel like he's the least impressive. But most importantly, both Tsukushima and Yukio, in my opinion, are actually better than the most recent and Muff Noritora, and I'm gonna keep saying that, right? What they did with Noritora was bad. It was shockingly bad. And I think these two characters are basically examples of that. But then last but not least, we have Kugo. An actual usable end of month character. That's actually going to be a pretty good character to play around with if you are a Kugo fan. And he's definitely going to have some good value with that soul trade. 35% more damage to weakened enemies. With that said, let me know in the comments below what you like to think about these characters. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.